Welcome Pisces to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 9th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week starts off brilliantly with Venus moving into your 7th house. It's had such a long journey through the 6th house, 4 months since the 5th of June. 6th house is all being very practical around our ways of showing affection, pleasing people. Uh, working on our relationships by those small gestures of thoughtfulness which is all in incredibly important and perhaps has also been helpful to you around work relationships but the seventh house is where Venus really thrives it's just that Saturn in your sign immediately is in opposition with Venus so there may be something that does need to be thought about or talked about in a really serious way right at the start of this week. But believe me, through to the 8th of November, Venus will come back to you in a very helpful way. She also forges a great link to Mars, which moves into your sister water sign of Scorpio on Thursday. So the sextile they've been in since the 12th of September continues, but now better for you. Because Mars is about... Uh, being more adventurous the ninth house so if you're single and you'd like to meet someone perhaps Saturn opposing Venus at the start of this week could be someone close to you who really understands you someone who doesn't necessarily tell you what you want to hear they tell you what you need to hear and that person's advice or encouragement can really give you uh, the the pep to go for it if you are wanting to bring uh, some more activity into your social situation. Also Pluto goes direct on Wednesday. Being retrograde since the 11th of June in your sector of friendship. So you have three elements there with Venus, Pluto direct and Mars all working to your advantage. And that can really see you going into the next few weeks more outgoing because of course the Sun and Mercury are in a very psychological part of your situation but the thing about the eighth house is it's very passionate and of course mars moving into scorpio reinforces that passion and desire so if you're wanting to uh, instinctively get in touch with a need that's important to you whether it is to do with uh, the eighth house energies of libra fairness balance some kind of justice some kind of outcome on a situation which gives you a sense of an achievement gained, well, that solar eclipse does work its way through the next six months for you and could see a big transformation. Perhaps it is going to be around uh, something that you've long wanted to achieve. For example, own your own home um, or perhaps uh, uh, forge a relationship with someone where you really are very intimate in a psychological and romantic way you're aligned in both ways not just in terms of the passion and the attraction the eighth house of course can also be very much to do with mystical issues and transformations does something need to transform in your life have you been rather stuck has your uh, life been rather in a state of inertia where you're going through the daily routines being very dutiful doing what you have to do enjoying your your uh, dinner and your tv programs and your interests and your friends but you're not really gaining traction i think this solar eclipse and this set of influences this week really pushes you to get on the front foot and accept sometimes in terms to gain something we have to sometimes give something up and that something you may need to give up is some kind of attachment to something Maybe even it's just your own company, which isn't necessarily uh, opening you up to possibilities. So 8th house energy, very transformative, can be almost like a phoenix energy. So if you've been through a tough time, this is an opportunity to get back on the front foot or to get uh, much more active on the social front too. Thank you for having joined me. If you are new to my channel, this is very much a community. Do share any thoughts you have. If you're a returning visitor, it's lovely to have your company once more. And if you've yet to like, comment or subscribe, I'd be honoured if you did so now. And please know, if you give me your birth data 
three pieces of information if you know your time, two if you don't. I can prepare for you your year 2024 forecast, but I'll give you the rest of this year free. But in my special package of 30% off, you can also get your life roadmap, your character analysis, which gives you searing insights into the patterns that have played out in your life so far and help you to work with them in a really constructive way going forwards. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Thank you.